Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, wish a happy Easter for uh, everyone who is celebrating uh, this uh, this holiday. And uh, second of all, I would like to show you a tool that I used to work a lot with, um, and it's called uh, TubeGraph. Um, it's made by uh, uh, by DIY Fever. Uh, the the guy's name is it's uh, nickname it's Banchika. He's also the uh, the guy who developed the uh, DIY, DIY layout creator. Uh, so if you are going to click there, uh, you will go on uh, on his site and uh, on the under the software you will see. DIY layout, layout creator, which is uh, also a very nice tool. The tool that I'm going to present you now, I do think it's discontinued and uh, it's not uh, it's not maintained anymore. Uh, I really don't remember how I got into pos uh, into position of it. I really don't know uh, because it happens like more than five years ago if I remember well but it's a very nice tool and I will show you what it can do it's uh, you can you can actually plot uh, load lines for different tubes and uh, it will help you a lot to to modify on the fly and see how the the current or the the, the swing or the uh, plate resistance will, will modify along with the uh, with other two parameters uh, another excellent thing it's the fact that here you have a data sheet editor so uh, you can actually uh, load uh, in this area uh, an image with the, the tube uh, uh, curves and uh, you can actually trace uh, trace the curves and then save them and then load them for later use so uh, what I'm going to to do here I'm going to demonstrate you how to use it uh, with the S, uh, 6n 16b uh, sub mini tubes first we can uh, go on and uh, take a look at the data sheet and we will see here that uh, um, the maximum the maximum anode voltage it's here maximum 200 volts so the maximum voltage is 200 volts uh, the, the maximum uh, 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 the maximum uh, current uh, it's better to take it off the graph it's you can either put it 14 or as you can extrapolate, you can go to 16. So I'm going to six, leave it 16, like it's like it's here. The maximum power uh, that the anode can handle it's 0 0.9 watts, but you can go and put one watt. Tube model it's 6 and 16b. Uh, you can you can uh, load uh, image in. Uh, in many ways but the way I'm doing it is I, I zoom in the PDF or in the data sheet of the tube and I'm doing print screen and then I'm going to uh, sorry guys MS paint post it there uh, then crop it to the size you can either select the whole or just just the part that you're interested in crop save it like 6 and 16 b ds and save it the uh, graph that you're interested is uh, it's the one with the uh, current function uh, of uh, anode voltage okay so you need the graph that will be current function anode voltage um, okay what you're going to do next is open image 
you go to the location where you save that image and let's see 6 and 17b okay so we have we have the graph here uh, and starting from now you can uh, you can actually start and add your own trace and you're going to be uh, to do that by clicking new curve and the one that you're interested in the first one will be uh, voltage for the grid zero it's it's quite easy because it starts from zero you go here and using the the, the video points and watching on the graph watching on the graph you try to match the curve uh, as much as you can uh, with the with the one of the two you have to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect because uh, even the graph at that resolution and the way it's made it's not perfect it's small it's more of a guideline to to use with with, with tubes so uh, so it's not actually it's not something that you can uh, uh, too much uh, of a trust in it because uh, it's uh, all in all it's just a print on a, on the paper on a on a questionable resolution as you as you might see and that's the original uh, graph from the from the data sheet uh, again adding new curves it's pretty easy uh, the next one will start from minus 20 uh, from uh, 20 volts and uh, for Okay, so we are going to do this and try to match as much as, as much as you can the curves. Uh, new curve. Uh, I'm doing uh, a little bit in a hurry here just to get you through, through the game because uh, it's actually pretty simple. The next one, it's uh, it's about here, uh, and it's minus two. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, uh, so you, you got the idea. Uh, you can do that for uh, for every uh, for every grid voltage that you're interested in. After that, it's pretty simple. So you go up here, and uh, you you're going to uh, to save it, save as, and it's curve file so I'm going to put it on my C drive and name it 6N16B yes okay and that's all you have to do regarding uh, the, uh, the the transcription of the graphs from uh, from the from the paper version to an electronic version uh, you can close this module and then go on and uh, open the other module load line editor which is again pretty simple. It's import tube data, 6n, and here you can actually play with all the uh, all the variables, and uh, uh, you can actually see uh, and actually define a load line. So if you have uh, I don't know uh, 180 volts anode voltage and uh, go to uh, two milliamps and you can choose here bias for minus one everything else it's calculated you need a, a r plate resistor of 88 uh, uh, 88k and rk of uh, uh, 622 and i guess 650 or 610 ohms is the next uh, standard uh, version uh, available uh, unit uh, you can also see the, the, the plate voltage, the direct plate voltage. Also, you can see the uh, the swing of the signal uh, on the uh, on the negative and the positive side. So you have 16 volts or uh, and 22 volts, and the peak to peak swing of 38 volts. You can see the plate current of 1.61 milliamps. Again, the current swing and the point to point current swing. You can actually uh, have some uh, automated uh, uh, automated tasks like uh, you are looking for a max uh, voltage swing and you can say bias and it will actually go to the max 
vault swing or you can go with the max i swing uh, which is uh, very um, it's 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 a good option for uh, for uh, buffers or uh, cattle followers and go bias and you can actually go uh, you can actually go berserk with it of course everything uh, will have to stay in the in the in the green zone under the red curve but uh, regarding the fact that this uh, this uh, is a is a triad you it will be quite hard to actually um, go over the maximum uh, plate dissipation because um, from from the physical dimensions it will actually be impossible to do that the, the cathode it's too small the the the, the anode uh, it's uh, it's thick and uh, you 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 can't go really over it you, you you'll go per se but uh, you ain't gonna get red plates or something like this because the tube it's it's very small by its physical dimension okay so uh, this uh, was um, a presentation about a, a tool that I used to use a lot and I'm still using it uh, and just to I remember that that uh, for the, for the most important tube in uh, in guitar uh, uh, gear you can um, you, you already have the the curves traced here and uh, you will find it in the examples uh, the, the actual the two graph uh, suite it's uh, it's coming with this 12 by 7 so everything here it's already traced uh, by by the, the the guy who developed uh, this uh, this really nice tool um, so uh, again I remind you that uh, the, the the project site it's diyfever.com you can go there and uh, and uh, if you like uh, you can uh, you can uh, drop uh, uh, message to Banshika and you can also donate if you like. Uh, it's nice uh, because you you can keep the the guy in in, in business and uh, you can also use uh, his new uh, his new tool. It's a DIY, DIY layout creator, which uh, it's a very very nice tool for uh, for designing. Uh, uh, layouts for Vero and uh, also for uh, uh, preferred boards, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, guys, this is uh, Dexter from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Uh, I will close uh, this video tonight. Again, best wishes for you and your family, for the guys who are uh, celebrating Easter today. Uh, what can I say? Take care of you and see you next time. Bye bye, guys.